Hi, I'm Lisa the Librarian, and I'd love to welcome you into the wonderful world of books. Today, I'll be reading the story, I'm Not Afraid, a lesson in overcoming fear, written by Sarah Beliza Tucker. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Hey guys, you made it! Today we're camping at Ricky's and it's gonna be awesome. So pack your sleeping bag and snacks and let's go! Let's go! Ricky's got s'mores. Are you guys coming? Hours later, the boys are still awake, taking turns telling scary stories. And finally, Ricky speaks in a low whisper. The great wizard draws his wand and banishes the troll army forever. However, some people say you can still hear them growling in the woods. What? Ha <laughs> no way. is shivering with fear. Oh, that was the scariest story I've ever heard. Harry, you do know trolls aren't real, Ricky asked him. Um, I think I want to go home now, Harry answers, still shivering with fear. Ricky tries to console him. Harry, do you remember what instructor Dan said about fear? Fear? Harry says as a question. F-E-A-R. It stands for false expectation appearing real. Ricky tells him. Oh, so that means... Harry starts to speak, but Ringo rudely interrupts. It means you have an overactive imagination and scare easily. He laughs. Ma! Okay, Ringo, that's enough joking around. Harry seems to be really scared. Ricky scolds him. Fine, sorry, Ringo agrees. How? Can I overcome this fear? Harry asks with a chattering teeth, once again thinking of the scary troll. Ricky begins to remind Harry. Well, Instructor Dan said, there are many times in our lives when we experience fear. Sometimes that fear is good because it helps us avoid danger. But sometimes that fear is bad, especially if it stops us from reaching our goals. Imagine the letters that spell fear. F-E-A-R means this, false, something not true, expectations, something you think is going to happen, appearing, how something looks to you, real, something true. Now, imagine there really is a monster under your bed. You actually see it. So that fear is very real. That fear protects you. But if you only imagine it's under your bed and don't see it, then that fear is not real. If you constantly remind yourself of that, you will conquer those unreal fears. That's right, I remember now. I 
will stay, Harry proudly says, as he banishes the scary troll from his imagination. I think I can handle the next scary story now. Great, Curly speaks up. I have a story that will beat Ricky's hands down. Now hold on to your sleeping bags and get ready to be terrified. Curly pauses for a moment, then begins. Once upon a... What? Wait, you can't start a scary camping story with once upon a time. Ringo interrupts. Here, let me show you how it's done. Two weeks ago, I saw Ricky's dad and some shadowy figure outside the Turtle Cafe. They were talking about monstrous creatures that are... You did not, Curly interrupts. It's true, my dad met someone there, but I don't know why, Ricky replies. Ha, huh? see, it's true, my dad met someone there, but I don't know why. Ha, see, so yes, yes, I did. Now let me finish my story, Ringo demands. Fine, Curly grumbles. Okay, like I was saying, I overheard Ricky's dad about this shadowy figure talking. Every day for the past few weeks, these creatures have returned at the crack of dawn to devour my crops. Can you describe these beasts? Of course I can. There are hundreds of them all following this one monster. This is no ordinary beast. It was red, beady eyes that stare right through you. He is blacker than the night sky and has a wingspan that seems 10 feet wide with claws so sharp. They've torn through all my defenses. Its song is so high pitched, it pierces my ears and turns my stomach. I know exactly how to deal with these particular beasts. I will meet you at your farm at Fortnite. What is a Fortnite? Harry asks. It means two weeks from now, Ricky whispers. Ringo ignores them and continues his story. Right before dawn, the shadowy figure said, Ringo ignores them and continues his story. Right before dawn, the shadowy figure said, then he walked away and disappeared into the midst. did not happen, Curly insists. Yes, it did. Even Ricky said it happened, Ringo says, defending his statement. What happens at the end of the story? Harry asks. That's the best part. The story hasn't ended. Ringo pauses. Yet, the shadowy figure is coming here right before dawn. Ringo continues. What? Curly says, starting to get nervous. Don't be a scaredy cat, Curly. I just want to warn you guys that we may witness the greatest monster battle of all time. Mwah! Ringo's evil laugh causes Curly and Harry's eyes to grow large in anticipation of what's to come. Oh. 
That was a good story, Ringo. I really like the cliffhanger, but I think it's time for bed. It's almost two o'clock in the morning, Ricky says, tapping his watch, trying not to show his nervousness. Perfect! Only three hours till dawn. Ringo laughs as he puts his head down, leaving the others to think about the monsters to come. Slowly, all the boys fall into a deep sleep, except for Curly, who is wide awake, waiting for dawn to arrive. A few hours later, as the sun begins to rise, the sounds, bang, bang, crash, startle the boys, waking them from their sleep. Ah! They scream in fear as the monster's hands reach for the tent. Ringo screams, they're here! From the safety of the tent, Harry slowly peeks outside and says, No, they're not, Ringo. The monster isn't a monster at all. It's just Ricky's dad and Mr. Wolf putting up a, a, a scarecrow. one that needs to be scared now are those mischievous crows. Harry laughs. <laughs> you were brave, Harry, Ricky tells him. Oh, I just remember what you and Instructor Dan said about F-E-A-R. So, I took control of my imagination and faced the monster, Harry says, smiling. Speaking of facing the monster, let's go see our new scarecrow, Ricky replies. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and I wasn't scared at all. I was just acting, Ringo tells them. Yeah, right, Curly responds. I was, Ringo insists as they leave. Wow, those stories were scary. And I'm so happy Ricky reminded me of our lesson from Instructor Dan this week about understanding what fear is, aren't you? So don't forget, the letters that make up the word fear are F-E-A-R, which stand for false, something not true, expectations, something you think is going to happen, appearing, how something looks to you, real, something true. So if you can't tell yet from your overactive imagination and real fear, it's okay to ask your family for help. Sometimes that's the bravest thing you can do. Don't forget, if you want to take a sneak peek at our next adventure, ask your parents for permission to go to www.adventuresofharryandfriends.com and join our club. Well, it's almost time for my mom to pick me up, so I have to go pack my sleeping bag. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'd like to give a very special thanks to the author, Sarah Beliza Tucker. If you enjoy this video, have your parent or guardian to click the link in the description below so that you can have your very own copy of I'm Not Afraid. 
also have them to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.